Tampa Bay. Today's Thursday. I was hoping to get out on the boat, but it's a little chilly, a little windy. We did hit 70 today and it was sunny for a brief period, but it's been pretty windy and I don't see anybody out on the water today. So we may try a few shore casting spots in an open cut here in the mangroves hoping we can catch something I did have uh, couldn't tell if it was a snook or a ladyfish uh, I did see the flash of silver uh, go for my bait but uh, did not get the hook up so we're going to try again, but there are some fish out there. And okay guys, I think we got somebody. Oh, Mr. Snook. Nice of you to come visit. Mr. Ladyfish is who it is. And he got me tangled in the mangroves, so. But we did get a ladyfish tangle themselves up in the mangroves, we'll have to take care of that. Okay, so it's not a bad sized ladyfish, also known as the poor man's snook, I'm sorry, the poor man's tarpon. So we'll get him unhooked. I wish you guys could see this a little bit better, but the whole, this whole cove is churned up. You got seagulls, I mean uh, pelicans diving out there, and they are just ripping the bait fish to shreds. And the unfortunate part is, I just can't cast that far. I've got the wind blowing into me, and despite the fact that I'm using my seven and a half foot Mojo inshore rod from St. Croix, I just can't get my bait far enough. So I'll keep trying to see if I can catch somebody on the peripheral edge. And if so, we'll see how that goes. Okay, I was able to get those guys. It looks like there's another ladyfish, so it could well be that that's just a huge school of ladyfish out there. But these guys are fun to catch. And they are not bad size. Oh, that one was ripped up by somebody a little bit bigger than him. Uh, he certainly was chewed up. Looks like a shark or somebody with some teeth looks like we have another ladyfish they are all over out there who would have thought at sunset that they'd be in here but they are and they are fun the way they jump come on buddy and they are all the same size it is a nice size fish Pelicans are still diving, and I think that school of ladyfish is still out there. They're not tearing the surface up as much as they were, but the, the pelicans are still feeding, and I think those fish are still out there. 
that wind has fortunately died down a little bit so I am able to get my bait just a little further out Oop, just had another one hit oh, missed him again I did have to cut one of the uh, barbs off of one of my hooks to uh, unhook one of those guys so I could be getting a few short strikes because of that so things seem to be dying down uh, at this point it looks like me and Mr. Pelican out there I'll give it a few more tries and if we don't hook into anybody else we'll call it uh, an evening but certainly uh, that was a fun little feeding frenzy and it's really cool when you actually see that uh, the big huge pot of fish feeding where the water was just boiling on the surface and I knew they were out there luckily I was able to get a few casts out to the outer edge of it and uh, hooked into to several of them and while they're not necessarily a fish that you're going to catch and cook they're a lot of fun to catch and they also make great bait if you want to use them as cut bait for shark um, but you know what you don't eat tarpon <laughs> those are a lot of fun to catch too these certainly aren't tarpon but they uh, put up a great fight and they are fun to catch so if we don't Look at anything else here in the next few minutes. We'll call this a wrap and hopefully you enjoyed uh, seeing that flurry there that uh, all within about a 30 minute window um, had several other oh, just had another one hit so we may not be over yet. Um, again I've had several that I've missed because I did have to cut one of my barbs off the uh, my lap my rear treble and it's too dark and too late to try changing it because I know I'm going to be leaving soon. So as I said, uh, I had a few more that I probably would have hooked and landed uh, had I not had to trim that hook, but uh, given how fast things were going and this is the only rod I've brought with me, didn't have time to retie, didn't have time to grab something else. So uh, anyway, we'll call this a wrap if uh, we don't catch anything else. and. Appreciate your tuning in and if you're enjoying this content, we're just starting this channel and we've got plans to Put a lot of good fun enjoyable information out there for everybody And hopefully you uh, will want to tune in on a regular basis and, and see what we've been up to So if you do enjoy this, please like subscribe and feel free to leave any comments. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Oh, looks like we have one more. So we can't wrap up yet. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. Any comments, I'll be more than happy to answer. And um, we'll get this guy unhooked and probably head home for dinner. Take it easy. Somebody thinks I have a treat for him. But I don't. And no, you can't come home with me. I'll catch you later.